First up, the Baltimore Ravens. Last year, 10-6 and six made the playoffs. To win the division this year, they are plus 300. Their strength of schedule is 23rd in the league. So that is the 23rd softest or most difficult. But then the, uh, what, what is that, 9th or 10th softest? Um, turnover margin, they were 22nd in the league last year at minus 3. Kind of to be expected with a rookie quarterback. That's right. Uh, over under is 8 this year. The juice on the over is minus 130. Juice on the under is plus 110. They're a projected favorite in nine games this year. Uh, head coach John Harbaugh, uh, the offensive coordinator, is Greg Roman this year. Uh, he was the tight ends coach last season. They were number 26 in yards per play on offense last year. Averaged 5.2 yards per play. On defense, number one in the NFL in yards per play. Correct. Gave up 4.7. Uh, their defensive coordinator, Don Martingale, uh, he's awesome. On defense, they signed Earl Thomas, Pernell McPhee, Shane Ray. Uh, they drafted uh, Jalen Ferguson, defensive end from Louisiana Tech, who led all of the NCAA for all-time sacks. On offense, they drafted Hollywood Brown, wide receiver out of Oklahoma. Uh, they signed running back Mark Ingram. Greg Roman, I don't know if you remember this, he is the one that uh, was the offensive coordinator for Harbaugh. He was the one that uh, that coordinated Kaepernick to a 25-14 and 14 record in San Francisco. Without him. For Jim, you're talking about, not John. Yeah, yeah, for Jim. Yep. Yeah. Um, now, Kaepernick, 25-14 and 14 in San Francisco. Without Greg Roman, Kaepernick's record was 3-16. and 16. Now, Lamar Jackson had an 84.5 passer rating last season. That was higher than the last four seasons of Joe Flacco. Correct. Pretty crazy. Uh, they led the league in defensive early down success rate. Uh, only three teams since 2013 have won 10 plus games with minus three or worse turnover ratio. Um, they were three and four in one score games, and they had a terrible turnover rate or turnover luck, and yet still won 10 games. I have got this team at 8-8. Eight and eight. I think they are right on the number. I still want to see Lamar Jackson improve, but they brought in a bunch of weapons. Uh, that I think this team could be really good. I just I, I just want to see it first. Am I, maybe I'm crazy for that. Like, I thought they overachieved last year, and I think that the defense maybe, maybe regresses just a hair. Uh... Yards per play on offense, I think, will probably get a little bit better. I think the turnover luck changes just a touch. But I still think that this is like an average team, and I feel like the Browns are better. I feel like the Steelers could be better. Uh, the Bengals, I, who knows what to think of them. But the Ravens, like I, I think this this has 9-7 and seven to 7-9, seven and nine, somewhere in between there, written all over it. So I've got them at 8-8. Eight and eight. So I, I thought this team was going to be a 9-7 a and seven team. So before before I started looking at the schedule and going through wins and losses, which I kind of hate doing, I would have just talked them up to a nine and seven team competing for a wild card spot. What they did last year, I think this team's going to be good. I don't think they're going to turn the ball over very much this year because they've made it clear we're actually going to go back to the thirties in football and we're going to run the ball over and over and over and over again. Hard to turn it over that way unless you just fumble it all all the time. Just teams just don't do. And no, well, I'll tell you this. When they had Joe Flacco last year, they were the number one most pass-heavy team in, yeah. in the league. And then when they flipped it to Lamar Jackson, they were the number one most run-heavy run heavy team. team. And, and somehow made it work. Yeah, oh, no, not just somehow like, made it work. And then, like, like they made it really, I think really Lamar work. Jackson's really good. Yeah. I like him. I'm, I'm sold you, on him. You and I, I was, have been we, – we are – at odds on him. That's right. Coming and, out and of I want college. To see it. Yeah. Coming out of college. This guy won a Heisman Trophy. This guy had no problems throwing the football. His percentage completion percentage was low because he was throwing 60 yard passes. I mean, it's the same argument for why Josh Allen's completion percentage was low. Like anybody who's throwing the ball 40, 50 yards down the field is going to have a lower completion percentage than people throwing it three yards. Hey, Lamar Jackson in college, and we'll continue this argument because. In college, whenever he played against good defenses, was average at best. But when he played but against that's mediocre, not, that's not to a poor fair defenses. comparison because his team never, ever, ever had an offensive line. Louisville had a very soft, weak 
offensive line. They weren't one of those teams that just has big hog mollies that can hold people up. So when okay. they played good defenses, their line got just completely blown up. That's a, no, you're so right. it throws everything off. It's not college and pros. You just cannot compare that way. But but when he had time, he had no problem having accuracy. The Ravens have a pretty good offensive line. They're, they're going to be a stable team. I kind of want them to be higher. I got them 7-9. and nine. I got them 7-9 and nine because I think they're going to lose games that they, that they probably should win just because I think they're going to have a hard time scoring points. Yeah. I don't think they're going to – I, I kind of want to be wrong on this. Now, I hate the city of Baltimore. They, they, they took the Browns. They're my mortal enemy. They are my number one team out of all 32 teams out there that I despise more than anyone else. But when Lamar went there, I kind of had to draw a line in the sand and say, has time passed? Can I get over this? Because I really like this guy. <laughs> I was in the tank for Lamar, and I'm still in the tank for Lamar. Um, I want him to be better. I think I think Greg Roman coming in makes it, it. I'm surprised that you picked him with a worse record than I did. Yeah, uh, but but like I said, I, it wouldn't surprise me if they're they're nine and seven. I literally just went through the schedule. I wrote wins, I wrote losses, and then I added it up when I was done with the entire all 32 teams. And then I said, how many games did this team win? And that's just what I went with. I didn't change it. Once again, not a good science. But, right, but it, it, it works. It works. It's, okay. it's what I've got, and, and it's what I'm going to go with. All right, so I've got eight and eight. You've got... I'm seven and nine. Seven and nine. Right. Um, they're, they're projected favorite in nine games. I, I think they'll so, end up being nine and seven. I just can't tell you where those games are going to be. I can understand that. 